Hello, it's Joey, and today I'm making a collage card with this beautiful 3D heart. The heart is made from book pages and decorated with tiny pieces of paper. It's a very relaxing project if you like playing with glue. I added paint for a vintage feel and glued it to a collaged card. I added zigzag stitches, but you could just use a pen. It has texture and it's fun, so I'm excited to make this with you today. Hit the subscribe button below if you love playing with paper. I've got lots more ideas to share. The key supplies that I'm using today are an index card to be the back of the collage card that we're making. So I'm using these very common index cards. They're six inch by four inch and not particularly thick. So they will form the basis of the card and we'll need some little bits of scrap paper, perhaps a little bit of fabric, any little decorative elements that you want to add. Just some pieces that perhaps go together in a, a common palette to form the collage and I'll show you how I do all of that. Obviously we need to make the heart and to do that I'm going to use book pages and it's a really easy process. So this book page which came from my altered book will be the basis of the 3D heart. So we'll make a couple of hearts per card and then we'll collage on top of them, we'll decorate them and then we'll attach them to the collage card. So taking a book page to begin with, I'm going to make a template of my heart because I want to make more than one of these. If you're only going to make one of these cards, you don't need to make a template. But my suggestion is make a template because once you've made one, you might want to make quite a few of these and they are quite easy. So I'm going to take a book page and in the first instance, just steal half of it. And the size of the book page is relatively important. So we want the book page to be no taller than the height of our index card. And the reason we're doing that is it will constrain us to draw a heart and decorate a heart that will not be too big for the size of the card, but will be big enough. I also like a particular design of heart, so I am going to draw one that has what I would say is a tiny bit of whimsy. It's just the, sh the shape of heart that I've decided I want for this. So I'm going to fold my paper over and draw a heart, starting with a dot where I've folded over in that ridge in the middle and just give it quite a voluminous top and then sweep in and come back to where I folded. Now inevitably when I draw these hearts they're not quite what I want so I'm just going to adapt it a little bit, go round and make it have a little bit more voluminous curve at the top and then I like to just bring it in a little bit so I've got an arc as it sweeps down. So the line that I'm going to follow as I cut this out will be this sweeping line on the inside here. I think I'll take it down to there and then just bring it up nice and wide, bold, confident at the top and bring it back to the fold. So I've got the shape of a heart and obviously if I fold this little piece of paper over and then cut, I'm going to have a heart that is symmetrical on the left and right. So fold my piece of paper over, grab my scissors and just cut out the shape of heart that I want. And even when I go around with scissors at this point, I still tend to adjust and adapt to the shape, maybe just getting what I want. No right and wrong. And when you've done a few, you might decide on the shape of heart that you like most. Do try to use up most of the piece of paper that you've got. So be bold. And there we go. Put that on the side. I have the shape of a heart in just a piece of old book page. And that's what's going to go on our collaged index card when we're finished. In fact, I think what I'm going to do is still just take that down a bit in the middle. I just like a bit more of the indentation at the top and that's much more what I want. So that's going to be our heart shape and I'm going to use that to begin with to draw in a particular way on my book page. I'm going to take my book page, fold it up 
in the middle and also fold it lengthwise down the middle. And then I'm going to take my little heart that I've cut out and use this as a little stencil, as a, as a guide to draw a heart onto here. And you'll see why in a second. This is making life easier to collage where we want to collage. Now the key at this point is to get your little heart very lined up with the fold on the piece of paper so that it is actually in the middle. And then just take a pencil and I'm going round quite roughly. It does not need to be super tidy because we're going to collage over these lines and go around the heart that you've drawn. So obviously at this point it doesn't matter how skillful you are at drawing your heart, you've done one and you don't need to do it again. So I'm drawing around it, so I now have a heart on a book page and the midpoint of the heart is very much lined up with the fold on the piece of paper so it's nice and neat in the middle. I'm going to take my pencil and make quite a distinct mark at the top of the heart and all I'm doing is making enough that I can see that mark when I turn this piece of paper over. So I'm going to turn my piece of paper over, find that little indentation, I can see it, it's an old book page so a little bit of a pushed pencil does show. Take my heart which is symmetrical so it doesn't matter which, which way I actually draw on this and I'm going to line up the top of the heart here, the top of the heart right in this top point with that pencil mark so that I know my heart is in exactly the same place as it was on the front and I'm making sure that the pointy bit at the bottom of the heart is also lined up with the fold in the page. And now I know I've got this heart in exactly the same place as the heart on the front of the book page and I'm just going to trace around that again. It just makes it a little bit easier than drawing a heart on the front and trying to see all the way through the book page to get your line in the same place. So drawing around the heart, there we are, and now I've got a book page with a heart drawn on one side and an identical heart drawn on the back. And all we need to do is take some little pieces of paper and collage on this heart and I'll just show you some of the little techniques that I use to try to get something of interest ready to then paint and sew. To collage this heart today I've decided I will use some little bits of labels and images and ephemera just torn up and cut up but you could also use other styles of book page, you could use small pictures from magazines, so any little bits and bobs you've got to decorate the heart. What I like to do is bring some bold black and white and font into this. So what we want to do is just place small amounts, collage, over the heart and when we've done that we're going to cut it out. And the reason I collage first and then cut is I think psychologically it makes us be just a little bit more random and brave in where we place some of the pieces of paper and by that I mean I'm, I feel that if I cut out an object and collage it my brain is thinking about the edges of that item being the boundary. I'm going to get my pieces down ignoring the shape of the heart and then cut and I just feel like I get a more interesting set of positions of those pieces of paper than I would if I'd cut it out first. It may sound just a little bit crazy and you can certainly let me know if you think it is but this is the way that I like to do it and I'm using the technique that I've used before where I put glue only in the centre of these items and not at the edges and it's probably more important than ever on this project because the pieces of paper that we're using are really really tiny so we do need to just be quite limiting in putting the glue just in the centre of the items as I add them all. And I'm just going rather randomly around, not worrying about where the drawing of the heart is, 
that. Not worrying about ooh, little tickets. Not worrying about anything other than putting collage on the top of this page. Tiny little tickets. Just need to cut those corners off. What I'm looking for as I pick little images out is anything that is small as a picture, bold and has some black in it. Just get a little bit of glue on the back and work your way around your heart, tucking underneath and letting each of those little pieces overlap the edge of our drawing and just start to build it up. You can use any selection of colours. I'm just sticking on this example to some vintage style colours because that was the design I wanted. And of course you can have a really good play with the colours in the papers that you put on the index card as well. I'm getting variety, so I've got pictures, I've got text, tuck that under. Yep. Yeah. I've got scripty style letters. I think it would be really pretty to do this with some book pages that you might have already painted as well. So if you painted some book pages with perhaps some lovely vintage colours, some reds and some browns, and then tore those up and mixed them around, you could get quite creative. That would be a nice project. Don't always be putting them upright. Let's have some coming down here. All I need to do now is just fill in some of the gaps. Don't need to use it all so I think that can go down at the bottom. Get that down. And all we need to do is make sure that we don't go over the fold here and encroach on the bottom half of the page because I'm going to use that and I've started to do it so I will just reduce that tear a little bit off. Very relaxing gluing. There we go, and I'm obviously using a little bit of the pencil line to see what I need to fill in, but I'm going over it. We're certainly not worried about having to go within the lines. We can just collage under and over, going over the, the heart line. And before we finish, we will make sure that we glue down all of those little edges too. And now I've covered up all of that heart with little pieces of paper. I'm going to take my glue and just attach all of the edges that were left loose for our collage. And then I'm going to add a bit of colour and a little bit of texture. What I want to do to the collaged paper now is add a little bit of colour. So have a think what sort of colours you want to go into your index card and maybe choose some paints or I'm going to have a play with my paint sticks again just to get a little bit of this extra dimension to our heart and I'm going to add some gesso as well. So before I cut the heart out I will choose a couple of place paint sticks, play sticks, choose a couple of paint sticks and if this were a Valentine's card you might want to add some red into it so we could get a bit of red on here and we could also add maybe some of the brown this is well used these are little brian paint sticks that are bought from amazon in a set of 24 and in that set of 24 i get quite a range of colors and also some gorgeous metallics like this gold one so i'm just going to get some of those colors in here and i'm going to pull out my gesso and use just a little bit of that and I think on this project with colour less is more so I'm going to just drop a little bit of my gesso into there I do have some water and I think I need just a tiny bit of water and some of these colours and I'm going to get some of that onto my collage maybe a streak or two of the red but not too much of the colour. I do like that metallic gold, so I'll have a little bit of that. 
any of your paints would work for this and you don't have to have the gesso either but I do think the gesso helps add some of that vintage feel and just a little bit of matte to the surface. I think with this one it's about variety, not letting all of the colours mix into each other. I quite like seeing a little bit more of one colour here and a little bit more of another colour and the sweeps of that gold are lovely. So have a play, use what you have. Watercolour pencils would also work well. Just get some of that ageing effect onto your heart. And I also need to do some of the space down here because I am going to cut out the same shape of heart. I'll use the template again and that will be part of what makes this such an interesting 3D effect. So we're going to have a heart behind. I don't need to collage it, I don't think. I haven't done. You could do. But I'll use similar colours to just get something interesting onto that old book page. It really is a project where you can adapt it to whatever you have, use and do what you like doing. So if you wanted this to be vibrant purple, if you wanted this to come out in greens, you could do all of that. You could collage on the index card in any colours as well. So whatever works using the supplies that you have. So I'm just covering enough such that when I come to cut a heart out of this lower half in the same size, it will all be covered with some sort of colour. And all I need to do now is just let that dry so that I can then do a little bit of stamping and sewing. So in the meantime, what I will do is collage the index card and I'll show you how I do that and share just a few of the tips as well. So I'm going to add a boundary, a border to my collage card and I need to do that before I add the little pieces of collage paper. So we're going to create this sort of card and it has variety of papers in a palette with some texture and some sewing if you want to and it's really simple so the same technique as we've been using on the other collage cards we've been making over the last few weeks so the most similar are the collage cards that we did at New Year so I'm going to take some little pieces of paper from my supplies in maybe a range of tones a palette that resonates with the heart so I've got I need to show you how I do these as well. I've got some smudge papers with paint and a little bit of metallic paint actually mixed in there. I've got various bits of paper that I feel will work for this design. So I'm just thinking at this stage, what patterns might I want? I want something with whimsy spots. I've got some script on a piece of paper, old book page, really just grabbing things which I feel go with this vintage design and feel. So I'm going to add a border and then just take little scraps from that and fill in. For a maybe a Valentine style index card, I'm going to use the reds. So I'm going to go around with my paint stick, just wet it and go around. And I'm leaning slightly, I can feel the edge of that index card. I'm just leaning slightly on the outside not worrying about it mixing. I want that texture. I don't want it to feel like it's all blended. And I think I will pick, I'll pick the gold and just add a little bit of that to it. So I think that's really pretty. The gold comes through showing a lot of metallic and maybe a little bit less of the pigment. And that is just, I think it's so easy, so much fun. So I'm going to use red and gold in some of them. Another combination, let's try the brown and gold because that's a really vintage set of colours. It's quite a deep red, quite a deep brown. Go around the gold again, mix that in a tiny bit. I think that's that's perfect. So either of these I feel would work well for 
a little vintage collage card. So I just need those to dry a little bit. You can use your heat gun to dry them. I've got a few because I sat here the other day making up quite a lot. In fact, I made so many I thought I'd run out of index cards. So all I've done is just cut down regular paper. It's relatively thick and that works perfectly well too. So I'll pick one of these. Let's just pick that one and we'll add a bit of collage and then we will add a label to the side. I'm going to add a bit of fabric and you can also stamp and add texture that way too. So there's no particular science to this other than to make life relatively easy I'm going to start with the corners on this one and the usual guidance applies a little bit of glue in the centre and because it's such a small index card it really doesn't take very long. So I've got a piece there with my metallic paper, I don't know if it, yeah it just shows up. Just a little bit of gold, it's actually fabric paint that I've been using to paint on book pages. So the set that I've been using to play with is this Arteza set of 14. They're lovely colours, they're bright and I just wondered what could I do with them that would be a bit different and interesting. So I've been splattering them in a very weakened form on old book pages and soaking them in it and they've been coming out like like coffee dyed papers but with a little bit of sparkle. So if you're interested I will do a video on how I make those. Let me know, leave a comment down below. If you really wanted this to feel valentiney then you could put a mix of reds into the collage papers behind. Let's get that under there, that works well, that's really nice. And one of the ways that I like to do just a little bit of colour featuring is to take a flash of something incredibly bold and just put a small amount in. So. What I did with, I'll show you one, what I did with this one was just add a little bit of really bold red on the top left hand side and that's waiting for the heart to sit on top of it and you'll just see a sneaky peek of the red behind. So I'm going to remember to do that too and I'm using gold splattered, really vibrant red paper here. So this I have splattered with my water and mica solution. And I just feel it makes it more interesting than, than flat red paper. So I will add a little bit of that maybe down here. Could it go up there? Ooh, controversial. I don't want too much of it because it is very, very bold. But I do want enough that I can just see something peeping out from behind the heart when we put that on. These colours are working really well. I've got some gorgeous yellow ochres. I think that's the right name for the colour. I've got some browns. I've got book pages. I've got dyed book pages. I've got some old text. So whatever you have, pull it out, have a play. That's good. So we have reduced the amount of red that's showing, but I think that's still enough. So I've still got a a cheeky bit on the bottom left down there. So satisfying. Just some tiny bits here now. Hmm, quite like this. So I just need a little bit under here. So now I have all of the pieces I need in terms of paper covering the index card. What I do want to do 
is add a tiny bit more texture over here so that when one of the hearts goes on it I've got something extra on the right hand side. These are I think little bits of silk left over from when my other half was making masks so I think I'll use just a strip of that on the right hand side and all I'm going to do is glue that down and then when I come to sew this that will just add a little bit more strength and help this little strip to settle and hold on. So if you're not going to use a sewing machine add a bit more glue at this stage and I'm positioning it just above the halfway mark so that's where I want to sew across and I'm also going to remember to add something that just sticks out on the right. So I'll pick a label, so one in brown with some text on, and I'm going to just glue that on the right hand side so that both of these are down and I can sew on top of them. So I'll go under my little bit of fabric and just glue that on the top right. So this is ready to dry and then I can sew it and then we can just really bring the pieces together. It's, it's very quick and easy this project. I just need to glue down the extra edges as we did with the heart, so I'll just do that now. And then I might add a little bit of texture in the form of a stamp. So I have my stamp here with some numbers on it. It looks like a ledger card. It's got some really gorgeous bold font down here. I think before I sew I will add a little bit using that. And I don't want too much because I want the focal point to be the heart. There we go. Speaking of which I'm going to bring that back in and also stamp on this. I've dried off my heart and the edges are all stuck down so it's time to be brave and cut it out and of course what we have is the pencil heart on the back all ready for us to do the cutting. So the hard work is actually done by this stage. So just being quite careful. Of course I can't see at this moment where it's cutting on the other side. Careful to make that heart rounded if I can, cutting through the collage pieces of paper on the other side. Let's see what we've got and now we've got something that I feel is just a little bit different. We're going to add a bit of texture in the form of sewing and I'm going to make life easy again and use a pen and go around the outside but first I need to create my second heart from the bottom half, which was why we, we folded this piece in half to begin with. So the easiest way is probably to take our heart that we've cut out and just draw around it. So that was easy to draw around cut that one out too and I might, might, might make life even easier by folding in half and cutting that way too. The paper is still a little bit damp from the painting earlier but you'll be able to dry it off and it's still going to work when we add it to the index card. So now we have, open that up, we have the backing for a heart, we have a collaged heart and it's time to add a bit of sewing to the index card if you want to. So I'm just going to sew around it and across the top going into the little flap, the little bit of extra decoration that we added and that will give us a back. I'm going to then add some stitches to add texture to my heart and I'm going to bring it together by sewing down the middle of both of the hearts. So put the collage one on top 
and just sewing right down the middle and that will really add quite a lot of strength. So let me set up my machine and I'll just take you through that. The route that I take for giving the index card a bit of a boundary, so the way that I add the little bit of fairly small running stitch onto the index card is to start down here on the bottom left and then I go up to the point of about a third, a point where if I come across I will cut through a little bit of fabric. Then I'm going to go up, back across, down, down and across, up and then finish over here. So I will have a little bit of extra thread here but that's okay and I'm just going to start over here. my card ready. So I'll just sew the heart. I'm going to change the stitch on my sewing machine and add just a little bit of zigzag and I've had to swap the heart that I'm using because I managed to, just to be completely real, sew down the middle before I had embellished with the zigzag. So I'm going to set that aside. I might still do something with it. I'm going to do the zigzag on the heart with the collage on first and then I'll run a bit of running stitch down the centre to bring it together. So don't do what I did and sew it together before you add any zigzag because that would be a bit of a disaster. So let me just add the zigzag. I do like this one, it's got metallic on it and then we'll bring them together. So I've done some upright zigzag just in the right hand side of the heart not too far in from the right hand side so that you can see it when the flaps of the heart are on the card. Just trim those off and I'm going to go across now, across relatively near the top with the same zigzag. So now I've got a heart with some texture and I can add the second piece, put it behind quite accurately and then just put a running stitch down the middle, right down the middle to pull it together. So I'm on a relatively small stitch and I'm going to be quite accurate if I can in starting with the needle absolutely in the fold. And we got there. I quite like the little bits of extra thread so I'm going to leave those on. So now I've got my heart, I've got my index card, I'm just going to add a sentiment and then glue it all together. I've got a little sentiment in black and I'm just going to add that to a spare piece of paper that I had from a previous project when I did some vintage collage to make a big pocket. And I'm going to glue on my heart but first need to remember I'm going to go round it with a little bit of sewing style dashes and it would be far too hard for me to try to do that with a sewing machine so I think I will just add that with a pen. Like that. Maybe very quickly just to bring it together I'll do the same on the sheet at the back. Just makes it look finished. Little dashes Super quick. I'm going to bring that all the way to the edge of the heart. And I like to have this at an angle. And the position is just so it overlaps some of the sewing. And I will just add a little sentiment tucking under there. And this is my new style of collage card with a heart. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more collage. I've recently filmed making these collage envelopes so that's coming up soon and I'm going to have a go at showing you how to convert some fairly ugly white cards into some vintage style ones. So do subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this because that 
really does help too. I hope to see you soon.